And good evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you're doing well. Looking at current conditions over at Orange at the Horseman's Western store. We're at uh, 80 or 86 percent relative humidity. A southeast wind, non-existent, half an inch fell there, and currently 76 degrees on the Medical Center of Southeast Texas Victory Campus Sky Camp Network. Cloudy skies across Southeast Texas, and uh, not too much rain. It's off towards our west and out in the Gulf of Mexico, obviously. And of course, there is Harvey. And you can see the tornado watch across uh, portions of our area. Again, these feeder bands are what are going to be the impetus for the uh, isolated tornadoes. These are weak tornadoes if they develop and water spouts offshore. And uh, the one place that we're going to be watching is for over towards uh, the coastline. These are not as strong as what we see during the springtime uh, months. They are caused by completely different uh, uh, circumstances and so you could get EF0, EF1 tornadoes 80, 90 mile per hour. They usually last a fairly short amount of time rather than several minutes uh, like what we see into the spring. Very heavy rainfall, tornado warnings out of these cells. Again, these feeder bands are what we're going to have to watch. Remember, there's a lot of rotational energy in the atmosphere and so when you have very heavy rainfall, that drags that rotational energy down to the ground in the form of a possible tornado and that's when your winds pick up. In between these uh, bands, this is what we call a moat. And again, this is where you're going to see the stronger winds associated with those feeder bands because the winds are stronger aloft and that rain is so heavy it drags it down to the ground. That's why you pick up uh, your winds are so gusty. If you remember Rita, remember how the winds were up and down? That's because of these feeder bands. Uh, as they uh, continue to propagate or move to the northwest. Seen about five inches or at least four and a half in the southwestern sections of Jefferson County so far today. That happened mainly in one of those feeder bands. As your tornado watches until 2 a.m., again, these are going to be weak ones, not to say that you couldn't see something up towards the north, but it looks like mainly along the coastline. Nothing has changed as far as that tornado watch, and nothing has changed as far as uh, our flash flood watch. It will persist right on through the weekend. Monday and into Tuesday. Southern sections is where we expect the heavier rain, lesser amounts up towards the lakes, and of course coastal flooding along Highway 82 in southwest Louisiana, Highway 87, especially at high tide at Sabine Pass, back over towards 124 and uh, also 87 overwash at the time of high tides. And of course, uh, obviously the big story is of, of course, uh, Harvey as it continues to move on shore. Again, very interesting uh, hurricane. This uh, Hurricane has now pushed on shore, as Erica and Kevin said, but notice how circular it is in the satellite presentation. That is uh, indicative of a major hurricane. And again, this is the strongest one that has hit Texas since 1961, Carla. And you can see that already the eye is becoming a little less uh, round, maybe starting a weakening trend. But you can see these little circular pieces or images rotating around that eye. Those are what we call mini swirls. Those are supercells and those supercells are producing tornado-like vortices and those basically are rotating all the way around. If you've seen any video of multi-vortex tornadoes, you know what I'm talking about with those tornadoes rotating around a main uh, parent tornado, kind of like this in a way. I'm not saying that, the, uh, that uh, this is uh, uh, strengthening it all, what we're seeing is that this is possibly, at least the presentation is becoming ragged and a slow weakening trend is starting to uh, already occur. But already you can see uh, the eye wall right over Rockport. They're going to get really close uh, to seeing uh, that uh, eye right now, it looks like. Yeah, they're just into the eye right now. So the heaviest rains and also the eye wall west of Rockport. Port Aransas is seeing that. Again, they've seen wind gusts to 130 miles an hour, and it appears that that eye is becoming a little less uh, elliptical or circular in nature, indicating that it may be already starting to weaken. Winds are uh, right now at 130 miles an hour, moving northwest at 7 miles an hour. Okay, the forecast track, this is the latest one for the National Hurricane Center, weakens it to a tropical storm Sunday morning. Then look at this crazy path. It goes directly south, weakens to a tropical storm at 45 miles an hour, the longer that this is over land, the better for us, the worse for Central Texas, obviously. And then they take it on off towards the uh, north and east, maybe over towards Houston. But look at the spread 
or how, how big this cone of uncertainty is, that just tells you this is a monster or a beast to try to forecast as far as exactly where it's going to go. This is the European model. We've been talking about this for days, and uh, this has not changed. Still, somebody could see 50 or 60 inches of rainfall. This is going to be a historic storm. The biggest threat in our area right now is still a very high risk of uh, flooding. Otherwise, until we get better imagery or better idea as far as where this path is going to go because of the uncertainty, we'll keep everything else low. Again, periods, not continuous, but periods or intervals of rain as these feeder bands rotate on in. And tomorrow may not get above 80 degrees in some spots. On the Gulf of Mexico, obviously a small craft advisory in effect. She's building to seven feet at times, looking at a southeast wind at 20 to 25 knots. Forecast tonight, again, not continuous rain. Intervals of rain as those feeder bands work on in. Same thing tomorrow. You'll be cloudy and breezy parts of the day. And then one of those feeder band comes in and that's when you'll see the heavy rainfall. Not changing anything with the forecast. Rounds or intervals of rain. And it all depends upon the strength and intensity of Hurricane Harvey or Tropical Storm Harvey. If it's farther to our west, the wind effects will be much lower than what I have here. If it stays out, goes out in the Gulf of Mexico, so it strengthens, there's just a lot of uncertainty. Best case scenario is that we just see a rain event, no wind. Worst case scenario, well, could be a hurricane. Who knows? It's a wait and see. It really is. I mean, we're it, in yeah. a wait and see mode. I don't think we're going to have a real good idea, uh, a definite idea, until possibly early late next week. And this is going to be with us five, six, seven days. And this storm days. has already done so many things in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Well, right now, over towards Rockport and uh, Port Aransas, they're probably seeing a uh, storm surge of 9 to 13 feet right now. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Patrick. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. We are tracking Hurricane Harvey.